On this page, we're going to go over how to make another famous graph that I'm sure you've seen before called a pie chart, also known as a circle graph. So a circle graph is a graphical display in which a circle is divided into sectors that each represent a portion of the whole, i.e. a percentage. All right, so when you think about a circle, like a pizza or a really big cookie or something, or a small cookie, I suppose, a sector is the mathematical name that we give to these wedge-shaped pieces, um, which in pizza is how most pizzas are cut. So that's what a sector is. So it's a mathematical term. Don't be freaked out by it. Basically, it's a section. All right, so again, this works for variables that are qualitative. So this is a qualitative data graph. The sector should be labeled with categories and relative frequency. This is actually something that I see missing from most pie charts when they're made. Um, it's usually the percentages should be written I mean, technically you could write the decimals or the fractions, but most often it's the percentage. So, and a lot of pie charts out there in the world, including ones I've seen in my professional capacity as a professor, um, are missing the percentages, and that's not good. <laughs> You're supposed to have the percentages and the categories labeled on it. All right, so, um, and then there are 360 degrees in the circle. If we want to make a pie chart on our social media apps, how many degrees would be in each section? So this is if we want to do it by hand, which of course I'm going to show you by hand, and I'm also going to show you with uh, StatCrunch because StatCrunch will do this beautifully in just a couple clicks. All right, so this is our social media data that we saw before, and we have the relative frequencies already. I've got them from the previous sheet. So I'm just going to write them down Oop, right here. It's 0 0.069, 0 0.276, 0 0.448, 0 0.138, and 0.069. All right. Again, the sum there, that's the sum, just as a reminder, is 1. Okay. So how many degrees on the circle would this be? Because we need to be able to figure that out in order to be able to do this. Okay, well, there's 360 degrees in a circle. That's kind of a known thing, right? So the circle has 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. So 360 times 0 0.069. That gets a little confusing with the dots and the decimal points, so a lot of times we'll just put parentheses around it to stand for the multiplication. So we're going to find all those values to the nearest degree. Okay, so let me just go grab Desmos because that is what Desmos is for. <laughs> so let me click desmos.com, click on the calculator, and I'm just going to sit here and multiply. So 360 times 0 0.069, 360 times 0 0.276, 360 times 0 0.448. There you have it. And since we're rounding to the nearest degree, that first one degree would be the whole number. So you want to say 24, but because there's an 8 to the right of that 4, you're actually going to round this up to 25. So that's 25 degrees. That's 99 degrees. This is 161 degrees, and that's about 50 degrees. Okay. So, and the way to say about mathematically is an approximate approximation symbol sorry i can't it looks like an equal sign but it's got wavy lines and that means you're approximating you're rounding so this is 25 degrees this is 99 degrees this was 161 degrees we don't have to show all the calculations this is just a a one-off 50 degrees and then 25 degrees again the total of those degrees should be 360 degrees if we did it right I can double check really quickly. So 25 plus 99 plus 161 plus, yep, it's 360. Huzzah. We did it right. All right, so now we have to make the graph look like that. Well, first of all, I mean, as all graphs do, they need a title. So we would say up at the top, you know, favorite social media app. That's our title. 
and then we just kind of have to use a ruler <laughs> and figure out how this is going to go. So uh, let's see here. The center is probably right around there. So if I'm going to draw, I'll start with, I think I'll start with the biggest one, the 161 degrees, because 180 degree degrees is straight across a circle. That's 180 degrees. 90 degrees, of course, is a right angle. So I'll start with the biggest one. So there it goes to the center, and then I'm going to make it jut out here. I mean, this is, you know, we're doing this by hand, so we don't expect this per to be perfect. That's the center that I'm shooting for. So that would be the first section. That would be Snapchat. So I'm going to label it Snapchat, which is 44.8%. Sorry, we switched that into a percentage. So 44.8%. Okay, Instagram is 99 degrees. So 90 degrees is a right angle. Right? So if I look at this ruler, that edge and that edge make 90 degrees. So I would have to go a little bit more than that. So I would just give it a little tilt. And that's about 99 degrees. And that would be Instagram. Because 99 degrees was 27.6%. Right, we don't put the degrees down. The degrees are what you use to just build this thing. And then Twitter was 50 degrees. So I don't know. I'm getting to this point where I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. <laughs> so Twitter's like 50 degrees right about there. That's Twitter, which was 13.8%. And then the last two, I'm going to try to divide down the center here. And one of these is Facebook. I'll just, um, let me think. I'll just do Facebook here and none here. And they both had 6.9%. And sometimes you'll see those labels on the outside. If they're, if it's, especially if it's a small section, they won't put them inside. And then I'm just going to color them to make it look pretty. So, you know, Instagram's right here. And then uh, I'll do Twitter in yellow, like that, and so on. You get the idea. Oop, I'm running out of highlighter colors here. <laughs> All right, so purple for Facebook, which I realize is probably not the color that that site actually uses, but that's the color I've got. All right, so there we have it. Done. Now, how to do that in um, StatCrunch, because this is a mess. Like, we don't want to do this for the rest of our lives. You know? So I showed you how to do it once by hand, just because it's, it's intellectually interesting. But we're not going to do this by hand, let's be real. <laughs> so um, we're going to go to StatCrunch. All right, so in StatCrunch, the graphs for pie charts are under the Graph app. So we would say Graph, and then we would just go to Pie Chart. Now, the with data with summary thing. With data is when you actually have a column full of data. Actually, let me go give you an example of that, just one second. Just for fun, I'm going to go grab from the main stack crunch page, I'm going to grab a data set. I'm just going to grab this movie budget one. It's right here on the top. So this is data. This is raw data. Can you see it? So raw data in here like this, that is from data. So if I wanted to do a pie chart from data, I would do it of month because month is a qualitative variable. And remember, pie charts are of qualitative variables. So I would go graph pie chart with data, and I would click month. And then over here, I can actually get to the, um, I want to display the percent of the total, right? I want that to be displayed. So that way it would show percents trying to think if there's anything else in here. You can mess around with the colors and so on if you want. You can add a title if you want, those kinds of things. But click Compute and away you go. Right? And you can see the percentages over there. All right, so that's with data. So it's, it's a column full of data. Ours doesn't look like that. Ours is already organized into a frequency table, a frequency distribution. And since it's organized into a frequency distribution, we would go graph pie chart with summary. The categories are the social media names. So those are the categories. And the counts 
or the frequency. So we would do that. And again, you can say percent of the total and say compute. And there you have it. Um, it is putting the percents over here on the side. I think there's ways to mess with that in, the, in this particular program, but I'm not going to bother right this second. Um, it organized it slightly differently, but it is about this. It is the same graph. It's just the, the pieces of pi are kind of shuffled around from each other. But there you have it. That's how to make a pie chart by hand, which you'll never really, really do again, and with StatCrunch.